This is this is uh pretty stupid. Today, WWE's former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose has been released from her contract by WWE. She's been fired for sexual images on her OnlyFans account. Yes, OnlyFans account. Possibly the most stupidest reasons to release somebody. Yesterday, Mandy Rose lost her championship to Roxanne Perez, which was absolutely unplanned and not supposed to happen whatsoever. It was only changed because of this incident. According to Tom Collier, who is a very reliable source, that apparently Mandy Rose was supposed to tag with Grayson Waller yesterday to take on Roxanne and Bron Breaker in a mixed tag team match. And Mandy was, was going to drop the title at New Year's Evil. She was going to drop the title at New Year's Evil to Roxanne Perez. That was the original plan, according to Tom Collihue. Tom Collihue also noted that Mandy knew her career was over. She knew that this was going to be her last match. So, so she did the honours and put over Roxanne on her way out. But here's the thing. The thing that grinds my gears about this is that Mandy was just so miserable. She was so miserable. She just knew that this was how it was going to end. Shawn Michaels literally had to rewrite the entire show. Even though I didn't watch NXT, I only watched the Roxanne Mandy match because that was the only match I cared about. And I watched that match for, from YouTube because somebody posted the full match on, on there. And Mandy Rose looked absolutely miserable. She, it, it, you could tell she clearly did not want to do this. She knew she was done for, and then the, and, and then the, and, the, and then her expression after the match ended tells you the story. It tells you the story on how upset she was. It had nothing to do with losing to Roxanne. It's absolutely pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic that this is how. Mandy's career ends. Mandy deserved absolutely better than this. And it's absolutely disgraceful that she gets fired for the most stupidest of reasons. Yet Riddle and so many other wrestlers can do whatever they want and they don't get reprimanded for anything. Nobody have always had this weird obsession with, with women. They've always wanted them to make them look sexy and all that shit. Like... Like from the Attitude Era and all that other stuff. It's unacceptable. And isn't it hilarious that as soon as Vince McMahon buggers off, Mandy Rose gets fired? Mandy Rose is the definition of, some, of, of, of sex appeal for, for, by Vince McMahon. And it's funny how as soon as he's gone, she gets canned. It's It's stupid. I don't care what anybody says. Releasing someone because of an because of an account is stupid. Now I know Zelina Vega had one. I know Zelina Vega had one, and apparently people said and and and, and no and no Zelina wasn't fired because of that. Zelina wasn't fired because of an OnlyFans account. She was fired because of her or because of Twitch. She supported unionization. For Twitch, where people are allowed to use Twitch accounts. That's why she got fired. And and now she's back in the company because she got rid of Twitch. She got rid of her Twitch account, which is why she's back in the company. She got fired for di for, for, for doing for, for disobeying WWE. And look, I know some people have told me that they think that WWE didn't know that Mandy had an account. I mean, okay, fair enough. Maybe they maybe they didn't know. But why? But why should the the first thing you do when someone leaks images and by the way, this is this is this is the stupidest part. The stupidest part is that some moron on social media was the person that leaked out these images. This is 
why I hate social media. This is why I hate social media. Why should fans think it's cool to hurt someone else's career just to satisfy their own needs? I've been hearing the stories about this for the last few days. That some person on social media leaked images from Mandy's only fan account and Mandy wanted that person to take this take that stuff down. So Mandy knew she was in deep shit because of this shit. Social media is literally destroying careers and I cannot stand it. This is why I hate social media. I, I've, I've learned for the most of my life, for the most of my life, I've always been told to respect women. I've I, I, I've seen the commercials on my t on t television. I've seen I've seen abusive stuff of women for a long time. I've always been told to always show respect to women. That's why I always treat Isabel with the absolute respect. And who's Isabel, by the way? My girlfriend. I've always I've always given her the most respect possible. I've always treated her with love and care. I've never abused her. I've never done anything wrong to her. I've never forced her to do anything disgusting that would make her feel uncomfortable. It is absolutely disgusting to treat women like this. It's disgusting to treat women like that. And, and I've always been told to treat women with respect. And clearly, that is not the case here. It is not the case that people do not respect women. Women apparently are not allowed to use their body for whatever they want to use it for! They're apparently not allowed to be naked! They're apparently not allowed to... They, women are not allowed to do whatever they want with their freaking body anymore! It's Mandy's damn body! She can do whatever the heck she wants with it! Why is it such a problem for women? It's such a damn issue for women that they can't do anything. But yet men, us guys, we can do whatever we want with our reprimand. We can do whatever we want with our reprimand, but women get the most abuse out of all this shit. And it's absolutely pathetic and disgusting. It's pathetic and disgusting how women are always treated poorly. I've always been told to always treat women with respect. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. I want to, I just want to let you guys know how wrong this is. And I don't care if you, and I don't care what you all think. I've always been a fan of Mandy Rose. And if you, and, and, and the same guy, the same guy that leaked those images apparently now has regrets. Yeah, good for you, man. I'm glad you feel bad. So many people on social media now feel bad for Mandy Rose because because of this stupid shit on social media that had to cost her her career. And Mandy knew her career was over because of this bullshit on social media. She may never wrestle ever again. And you know what? I hope she doesn't. WWE doesn't deserve her. No, nobody deserves her talent. Nobody deserves her talent. WWE sure as hell don't deserve it, considering they fired her for the most stupidest reason. I wanted to get this off my chest because this infuriated me all day. Even yesterday, even yesterday, I was furious about all this shit about Mandy Rose. And now it's boiled up even more here today. And I'm absolutely sick and disgusted by, by WWE's actions. Absolutely pettiness. Releasing Mandy Rose. I have seen the I have seen the most stupidest releases as possible. I, I I can understand releasing wrestlers that may not improve, you know, like Bodie and 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 whoever else has been released because they didn't develop enough. I can understand releasing people for that reason. Those reasons I can accept for people being released. But if you're going to release someone over something so stupid as an OnlyFans account, why do you run a business? Instead of firing Mandy straight away, why don't you just talk to her? Tell her to take the site down. Tell her to delete her account. Or suspend her. Why does it have to automatically be a firing? Why couldn't it just be a suspension? It's, it's pathetic! Why did it have to be a firing?
free. It literally makes me mad. And I'm, I know I'm one of the biggest Mandy fans on the planet. I've always supported Mandy. I've always supported her from the day I... From, from, I've always had her back in everything. From her golden goddess days on the main roster, I've always had Mandy's back. And you gotta remember one thing. This NXT stuff was her literally last chance. It was her last chance to, to reinvent herself and to get herself over. And she nailed it. She nailed it. She carried NXT for 413 days. And yet people showed no respect to her. People showed no respect to Mandy Rose. Everyone crapped on her championship run because it was because because people don't like her. I understand maybe you're not liking her, but 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 now every single thing that has happened to her for the, from, from from the last 413 days is now viewed completely differently because of this stupid incident. Men Mandy got thank you Mandy chance after after NXT went off the air. Now that feels now that feels even more disheartening. It feels more disheartening knowing that she's now gone. It's so I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for getting emotional. But it's it's just wrong. What happened to her was wrong. It was just pathetic. And it really, and it really, really hurts. I'm sorry guys, but thank you all for listening. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Good luck to you, Mandy. Whatever you end up doing in the future, good luck. And I will always, and I will always have your back. I've always have. And I always will to this day. Justice for Mandy Rose. That's what it is. It's, she deserves better than this. See you guys next time.